This was me, heavy into my drug addiction. I never got to where I wanted to be on YouTube, and I really wanted to become a YouTuber. You gotta make it, not necessarily your life, but you have to have a lifestyle that fits with YouTube. You know what I mean? You can't be in front of a camera all the time and also be a drug dealer. One year earlier. So, I, I kind of dropped out of college. <laughs> yeah, like my, li my life has been, my, li my life has been a mess. But it's okay. That's why I'm, I'm getting back on my feet. <laughs> I, mean, I can't do this anymore, honestly. I can't do this. I mean, I guess, like, of all things that I wanted to say. I didn't know how to respond because I didn't want to put myself out there like that because I'm looking towards the future and I kind of put that already in the past because it's all behind me already. For now, I will just share this little part. What's up, everybody? My name is Joseph from MagicDiscovery.com. I make t-shirts, I make videos about... It was at this moment when I realized I fucked up. What, um, you know, I make videos about my thoughts, I make videos about life in general, and if you like that kind of stuff. I made four videos before this one. I realized that I never showed the real me. It's hard to explain, but I'll try. This box is so big, you can actually use it for my funeral. I made like four videos already, and I only, I'm only supposed to be making videos for like two minutes and thirty seconds. So, my bad. I know. I'm trying to get. I'm getting there. I'm trying to build up this personality. And if you see my other video. I know I said it relapsed. It's just a once in a while thing, you know? That's no big deal. It is a big deal. It's so can we, so honestly, if I enter, can we get married? Uh, you have to like graduate and stuff, and then you have to like, be better than Bishop, and then <laughs> Bishop has to work for you, and then, yeah. Yeah. Like the YouTube algorithm just just kind of like suggested it, and once I watched the one video, I couldn't stop watching. And you guys are gonna think I'm weird because I don't usually watch videos like this. I this was a beauty channel. I went down the rabbit hole watching a beauty channel, like makeup, a makeup channel. I know you have a lot of thoughts about me right now. You're probably judging me. But, stop right there. There's a reason. She does makeup, right? But she also tells a story. And during that time that she does her makeup, she tells a story about uh, a real crime that happened in the U.S. Maybe like, or not necessarily the U.S., but a real crime that actually happened back in the day. Three crimes, unsolved murders, and she does it in a way that's so eloquent and... And like you don't even pay attention to like her doing the makeup, or even if you do, like you're more enticed with the story. Story you gotta get the story gotta go to the ear first before you, it comes in your imagination. So that's why I wanted to not copy her, but I think I think I see something there. I see I see like a way to deliver a message without having to be face to face like this. I know it might be kind of awkward and 
the way our like minds are today in 2012 we're like dopamine crazy so we want to keep seeing like you know new things new things where everything's gonna look boring so that's why you're here and yeah we're gonna verify the hype man we're gonna verify the hype all right i'm gonna go to sleep it's not that there's nothing wrong with you i'm not you know i'm not telling you how to live like the way, I, the way like my life is, it's better for me to be sober. Cause I, I can get ugly. Well, I'm already ugly, but I can get like ugly. It could go from zero to infinity real fast. <laughs> and that's why I like, that's why, I, you know, that's, that's truly why I'd rather be sober. But sometimes, you know, sometimes in life, I think you gotta sacrifice. Sometimes I think you gotta, you gotta work this body, you know. I don't throughout the day. I don't do anything. I just sit down all day on the computer. But at night, this is the only time I can record because it gets quiet. You know, it's quiet, and you know, it's it's the only, it's the only time it's quiet. So <laughs> it's the only time I can film. But yeah, I'm tired and my body is about to die on me. So even if I really wanted to film with you, I can't. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to say if you've been here with me, then. You know, thank you. I appreciate you because, like, I don't even know who you are, and you know, you're sick. You know, you're trying. To, you're helping me by at least like you know, seeing me doing something different all the time. If you love somebody that struggles with addiction, can I give you one piece of advice coming from somebody who lost their little sister to addiction two years ago tomorrow? Try with everything in your being to not let their addiction become who they are to you. My sister had so many qualities about her that defined her. She was beautiful, she was smart, she was charismatic, she was genuine. She was so, so many things more than her addiction. Her addiction was 1% of her. I let it stand between us and I feel like that is was the biggest mistake. I just needed to be her sister. I just should have glorified all the things that she brought to this world that were so valued and I didn't. Like we focus so much on their problem and we completely lose sight of how wonderful they are at their core. And I can't even articulate what I would do to maybe have called her that day or the day before, tried to utilize this concept that she was I know. Just focus on everything that you love. If you see this video, just love them for all the other parts of them that you cherish. I promise you, you won't regret that. If you are in crisis or know someone who is, there are many resources that can help. These hotlines and organizations are free and available to anyone who is struggling. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration has a 24 7 national helpline for individuals with substance abuse issues and their family members. The hotline, which offers assistance in English and Spanish, can be reached at 1 800 66 to H E L P for 1357 to find behavioral health treatments.